There is a very bright, very large anomalous object in the skies near the permit locked regions close to Barnard's loop. It appears to be Thargoid in origin and it appears to be moving. If you haven't already consider liking and subscribing to the channel and select all notifications to ensure that you don't miss any future Elite Dangerous content and to directly support our channel you can also join our Patreon. You'll find everything you need linked below. Late on Tuesday evening UK time reports started to emerge of Thargoid hyperdictions happening near the permit locked regions around Barnard's loop. The hyperdictions themselves were not of an unusual nature being the regular stop and search non aggressive behaviour from the Thargoids that we'd become used to. What was initially unusual however was the location. Whilst it's absolutely typical for hyperdictions to occur in the space surrounding areas frequented by the Thargoids themselves such as the Pleiades, Colsac and Witchhead sectors it is almost completely unheard of outside of those areas save from cases where the Thargoids themselves are on the move. The area near Barnard's loop is heavily permit locked and it's long been suspected that all that permit locked space is indeed the source of the Thargoids. Those commanders that have been with the game since its early days will doubtless remember the Gnosis incident where Canon Interstellar Research attempted to jump their megaship into the permit locked region only for it to be jumped by swarms of Thargoids. The hyperdiction however is not the biggest aspect of this story, not by a long shot. Independent pilots have begun swarming to the area not to experience the fairly typical hyperdictions but instead to observe a new anomalous object that can be seen in the skies on the other side of the permit lock. The anomaly appears to be extremely large given the distances we're dealing in, it's very bright and exhibits a swirling spiral type pattern very similar to almost everything we see that is Thargoid in origin. What's more there are now multiple reports backed by video evidence that the object is moving. Further if players point their onboard FSS scanner in the direction of the anomaly it is very definitely making a noise as can be heard in this clip. When the news began to circulate through the community both Canon and the Anti Xeno Initiative immediately issued red alerts. This is a breaking story, observations are still very much an ongoing process at this point but the conclusion that many commanders are coming to is that this is the first sign of an approaching Thargoid hive ship. These colossal vessels have been spoken about in lore and in logs found in the game but if this is indeed a Thargoid hive vessel then it's the first time evidence of one's existence has been directly observed. More observations are needed to determine an exact course and community science is ongoing as I speak these words but if the anomaly is headed our way then the two most immediate and obvious candidate destinations are of course Sol and HIP 22460. Thargoids have not traditionally generally speaking been immediately hostile. The Thargoids around HIP 22460 following the Proteus event have changed in that regard but Thargoids away from the scene of Salvation's failure have shown no obvious change in behaviour. If this anomaly is indeed a Thargoid vessel then its specific intentions as well as its destination are yet to be fully determined. As soon as we know any more we'll keep you advised on this very channel. If you want to check out the anomaly for yourself I've put a system in the video description from where it can currently be observed. What are your thoughts on this new phenomena? Will you be heading out to visit it and what do you believe its intentions to be? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.